in four, three, two, one. What's up, everybody? And welcome to episode 12. 12. Damn. <laughs> We're just flying by. <laughs> Yo, it is every week. Weekly, weekly, weekly. Uh, welcome to episode 12 of uh, Fresh Talks. I'm your host, Fresh Philly. With co-host Nesto. And yeah, man, there's a lot of things to talk about. But, a lot, bro. Yeah. But uh, before we talk about it, uh, what you had on feet today? Because last week I forgot. Facts, you piece of shit. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Today I had my uh, my Vans, the Paisley, the black. Black Paisley. Like, yeah, yeah the, low, the low the low, versions. Um, Worst fucking shoe I ever took to work, bro. Why? They're fucking worse than Chuck's, bro. I told you not to bring them to work, but you didn't listen. I thought it was going to be comfortable. You don't listen. After like the first two, three hours. <laughs> See? Vans are only good for one thing. That's lifting. Yes. And right. you, what? They say deadlifts or, or squats? Squats, yeah. It's flat foot, trim, whatever you want to call it. Uh-huh. You don't wear them for like an hour. Facts. Because I don't know how many people out there squat as much or how long it takes people to squat. That's mm-hmm. all it's good for, bro. Unless you want to go barefoot, that's on you. Facts. But yeah, was on that <laughs> bitch for like eight hours, bro. My feet fucking bleeding. <laughs> well, to be fair, also, like, you have to break them in. And that's when it gets more comfortable. Yeah, because this is only the third time I have them on my feet, bro. But those other two times, were they longevity? Nah, they were maybe like two, three hour max. Okay. Yeah, okay. so that's probably why what we said they were comfortable, but nah, I fucking lied. <laughs> <laughs> For me, it was uh, just Nike slides today. Um, yeah, I was just bumming the whole day, bro. Like, I, I didn't wear nothing special today. Um, last, uh, so this Saturday, well, two weeks ago, was a week ago we found out. Yeah, no sneaker event at Showboat in AC. Sad, uh, sad, sad moment. I uh, hope the guy that was affected by the hurricane in Florida. Hope his head is up. Prayers to him and his family, Facts. and prayers to everyone out there that got affected by the hurricane. hurricane. Facts. Uh, hopefully, moving forward. Hopefully, uh, since they're postponing it, they will um, do something. Do something. Facts. Because I, I kind of want to record. It'll be my first time recording for an event, so it'll be kind of fun. Probably, yeah, it'll be late. Uh, what else this week happened? Uh, ah, shit, a lot. Uh, last Saturday, was it? I took my my wife to go out to, uh, on a date. Uh-huh. Just me and her. She was wearing her uh, the color of the month pinks. Ooh. She was happy. Every time Shy will walk, she would like jump back, act like, "Oh no, don't step!" <laughs> I'm like, I look at her, I'm like, "Hey, yo, you can't clown her because you know how we are, bro." I'm like that. But I'm not like that at the same time. Uh, fuck. Depending on what's on my feet, um, I would like to keep them clean. Of course, any white fucking sneaker. That's the one reason why uh, I never suede. Suede. Uh, what else? Yeah, it all depends, I guess, on the sneaker that's on my feet. Nah, that's one big thing about me. Like this year was the first year I actually start wearing white sneakers. And I'm not gonna lie, it scares the shit out of me every single time. Bro, it's fucking scary, bro. Cause like I wear, bro. That's why I haven't worn my Carmines in a minute. My fire red fives, my fire red fours. Uh, what the fucking white sneaker I got to crib? My Columbia lows, mm-hmm. and what else? I'm pretty sure there's more, but I haven't worn them a lot. Bro, it, it, it's just not. I was always scared because like, Cause, if um, you get them scuffed, not even scuffed, just dirty. You look like a dirty young boy. Fast. You get labeled as a dirty young boy. I'm not Fast. trying to be a dirty young boy. Because low key, I'm trying to wear either some Carmine Sixes tomorrow or my Fire Red Fives tomorrow. Oh, no, bro. Remember, uh, Fire Red Threes is cool. I but, wore those already. Oh, okay. But I'm saying I'm trying look. to alternate, like, change around my lineup routine because this is a few that I haven't worn for, like, a fucking year, bro. Remember, we're going to flea market tomorrow. So that being said, uh, it might be rocks and shit, dusty. I haven't been there a while, so I don't remember. Which one in Columbus? Yeah, we're going to Columbus tomorrow. Oh, they're pretty chill. So, but it's not it's not dirt or anything? It's not uh, rocks, but not dirt. Uh, we, we should be chilling. Um, uh, the only bad thing is a lot of people around there. Yeah. Um, so I'm probably going to uh, rock some threes tomorrow, if anything. Uh, to be there, and then when we go to the uh, Fan Fest. Facts. Probably just uh, pull something out because I remember I had to go back home and let Shy go out. And stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm see what the hell do I want to? I don't know. I'll see what I pull out tomorrow. Shit. But uh, let's. Uh, that being said, just a little update on what we did or what we're going to do. Let's get into the main fucking topic. That boy Yeezy. Lord have mercy. Yo, he got dropped 
buy Adidas this week. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? On the spot, stopped everything, bro. Production, money, all that shit. All that shit. He's 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 Foot done. Locker as well is stopping sales. I think everybody's pulling their, well, their sneakers out the show. Out well, the show. Well, it's only only reason I only brought Foot Locker because I saw an article on it, and they uh, actually yeah, announced yeah, yeah. it themselves. Yeah. So I that being said, I can only I speak only on speak on that. Fact. Um, dude. He lost everything. Like, is losing everything because of his mental illness. Here's the thing now. Let me ask you this. I brought it up on one of my videos. I said, you think he's doing this on purpose just to get out of Adidas contract? Knowingly that it might trickle down with everything else. Uh, Knowing, yay, it could be one of those type of stunts. But, like... Like I said, we don't know what's the back details of all that contract with Adidas. So, mm-hmm. I mean, Ye has done some crazy shit in the past. So, it could be one of those things. He was like, all right, I'm going to fuck around and see if Adidas drop Because the little clip I saw was him on Drinks Champs. He was like, oh, I can say this and Adidas can't drop me. And guess what? I could do this and Adidas can't drop me. So and guess what? Adidas dropped his ass, bro. Bro, I don't blame him. I agree with him 110%. Mm-hmm. And... Here's the thing, you he real for some reason, right? He really thinks like he's up there with Adidas, and I give his flowers or at least his recognition for it when it comes to all right, you brought Adidas up there because when you first started, Nike was behind you for a little bit, right? Yeah. And guess what, Virgil, RP to him, mm-hmm. knocked you the fuck out with his ten piece. Damn right. And then guess what, you guys. As Adidas or just Yeezy in general mm-hmm. was plateauing. Facts. You guys didn't go any higher because you kept on milking the 350. When yeah. he said he was gonna make sure everyone gets a pair, he did. But people assumed it would be like maybe five colorways of mass production. Facts. But it was multiple colorways Ways, yeah, and yeah. mass production. Facts. Now, I personally feel like at least, the, and this is a high number. Maybe me just me. Me just being generous, mm. uh, g- generous. Sixty <laughs> percent of fucking Yeezy purchases are from resellers. Sixty percent of people holding sneakers up from Yeezys are resellers because they're just sitting now, bro. Even before the situation, it was always been sitting because, like, even when you go to like sneaker events or you see videos and like, yeah, it's the- always Yeezys on the tables. So yeah, you, it's like you. The resellers are reselling. They do their thing. Whatever. Mm-hmm. But when it came to like people actually wanting it, how many people really want it? Because even now, there's a lot of pairs still sitting in stores. Well, that's if you can find them in stores now. But uh, true. That's what I'm saying. With the situation. But yeah, now nah, like like you were saying, Yeezys, every like reseller has them. And like now these resellers are fucking jumping yeah. for joy because... No, the only pair that went up that I saw a few days ago statistically were the turtle doves. Let me, uh, we doing this live. We about to do StockX pricing. But nah, bro, I was, okay, what was the... While he looks for that, I'm going to say this, right? He literally fucked up the bag big time. So the salt ones. Okay. Last sale was 401. Before that, what was that? uh, I don't know. It was probably in the twos. Everything is for three fifty. See they now or well, two fifty. See what I'm saying? So they're 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 jumping up in price. Like the bids and asking is not that. I mean, some the asking is high, but the last sales is like fours, yeah. fives. I even. mean, these just these just literally came out. Yeah, but bro, they're going up because they're not going to be reproduced anymore. That is true. Everything is in fives. Uh, yeah. Well, to be fair, like a few days ago that I saw. Like just do articles. Mm-hmm. It was just turtle doves going up. Now it was everything. Then is everything. Like me personally, I still got two of my pairs. Uh, the the breads they want to call it. Mm-hmm. Oh Before yeah, the bread, the yeah, bread three yeah, yeah, fifties uh, yeah. and the cream white three fifty triple white or whatever yeah, you want to call bro. it. Bread three fifties four twenty eight. But they're always going for that price though. Uh, let me check the. That one was always going for that price. Let's see the market data. Uh, yeah, they fluctuate between three and four. Yeah. So that being said, so, they probably just updated up like a couple, a uh, couple dollars yeah. more. But here's the thing: it's like, will his shoe be triple or even double what it is now within a year? 
Because everyone, remember, you, you even go to the city, a lot of kids, a lot of young teenagers, young adults, they're wearing Yeezys, you know? And they're, it's their everyday shoe for them, so they just fuck it up. Now, are they going to preserve it now? Probably not. The Blanquitos, not. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, what was it? Now, so this is where I'm, like, stuck, where everything is, like, 50-50. Not me, personally, mm-hmm. but, like, where, sh- where I'm seeing points. Like, mm-hmm. of course, us people that's in the sneaker game, they're like, cool, Yeezys ain't going to be reproduced anymore. Mm-hmm. And if they do, it won't be the same. Mm-hmm. So they're going to hold that and bring that shit up in value. But you think, like, will it be, like, what I mean by value, like, double, triple, you think it will get there, though? It might at one point. It definitely might get at one point. Because Yeezys, at one point, some of the old Yeezys, like the V1s or whatever you want to call them, like the Pirate Blacks. Right, shit, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Oxford and whatnot, they go for, like, already a rack. Right. Now, like I said, his shit might go up in price in, like, the a few months. And it could also drop in fucking price because of all the dumb shit Yeah, you say. Um, like I said, you have half of the world that's like, okay, cool, he said this and that. I'm trashing all his shit from clothing yeah, to 40, sneakers. Yeah, the, the one dude posted. He 40, burned, yeah, burned his pairs. pairs, which... I would have just sold it to be honest. I would have sold it, or like uh, one of my friends, um, Ayana, shout out to Ayana uh, on Instagram. She was like, instead of burning it, why you mean just give it to like the homeless, don't eat it or something? Exactly. So, like I said, everything is fifty fifty. He did apologize though. He did, but like, but it doesn't. Make, it, it, it doesn't. won't. It may. It won't make anything better right now. Yeah. Because like you saw, everybody dropped them from whatever. And you saw them. Hip, hip. Is he sorry because he got he's getting so much backlash? Or uh-huh. is he sorry? Or is he uh, doing that just to be? All right, it's for a public stunt. Like I said, I don't know where he's at with it, bro. It but could be both. I'm gonna say this, right? If y'all have relatives, or even yourself, deal with mental health, right? Please seek help. That shit is real. I fully don't understand it, but I under, I do understand that it is real. Yeah, you know like I, I mean? said, because the way we grew up. Our mindset is different, but like I said, if you're definitely dealing with it, yo, seek some help. You know what I mean? There's nothing it's wrong. Not, yeah, there's nothing shameful. Help. Just Male or female, <laughs> woman or man, it doesn't matter. No, you know what whatever I mean? The Everyone needs help sooner or later. Regardless of what your situation may be, up or down, left or right, it doesn't fucking matter. Take care of yourself. Right. That being said, Skechers. <laughs> my man Ye pulled up to the headquarters so unannounced I could be bro yo I'm telling you There's no- Ye is Ye bro but that's he could probably like- come up to your crib right now and be like yo turn this fucking podcast off <laughs> and I would not give a fuck pay me 5 mil I'll, get- I'll turn it off for now oh you fucking low ball I want 800 mil <laughs> he can't even afford 800 mil I don't mil. care he could find it <laughs> what through investments or what his his wife's sex tape <laughs> oh his ex-wife ex-wife asshole <laughs> Oh, <laughs> damn! But no, it was funny. Sketchers, right? You know how Kim K did the Sketchers thing? Did she? she oh did. yeah, 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 yeah. I remember, so I was like, I that's remember. the first thing I thought. People thought man was ballsy. Yay is yay. How you're saying it? I the first thing I thought like, yo, your ex wife works with them. Mm-hmm. What the hell are you doing? And of course, they pushed them away. Of that's course. the story. Yeah, you yeah, yeah. I mean? that's the story. Cause I I think I saw a post on Instagram where they was like. He sh- uh, showed up unannounced or whatever, and we Definitely. didn't like we shut him down. And what was it? Like I said, I knew he was going to scoot down to that level. He was going to scoot down to like try and go to Sketches or somebody mm-hmm. else. So that's what, and that's what we were talking about last time. Like, okay, if he does leave Adidas, mm-hmm. who he's going to go with? But that's the thing. Like, he supposed this is the rumor I see on Discord or people just speak in their mind. Uh-huh. He's going to make his own brand. Like, you know how he, he has Yeezy, his own brand? He could still do it. But I thought but, it was Ye. Or Ye, or whatever, whatever the case may be. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, none of his... I never wanted any of his fucking clothes, to be honest with you. I don't want to look like a fucking blue marshmallow. I did want one of his... Uh, what was it? Is it a crew neck or a hoodie that he dropped with Gap? Not the I, ones I, with I, the holes. I don't want none of them. It was a nice joint. I don't like the style, because that's not for me. Right? Now his old shit, like his like college dropout tees that he oh, did, yeah, like, yeah. Dojo like stuff nice. like bitch and stuff. I'll, I'll I'll go for it. But here's the thing, also, would knowing that what he said, basically, would you still rock his stuff? I never had he ate anything. That's so. like I haven't. When he talked, what he did uh-huh. on on drink champs, 
I haven't rocked it. I still have both my pairs. You know what I mean? Right. Because I had more Yeezys, but you know, I sold them for the low when I needed money or whatever. Sex. And the two I have right there is like, like my home. I bought it off my homie. All right. That being said, like it has some sentimental in the sense, but it's like also it's like I ain't gonna lie, I ain't I ain't no stupid dumbass now. If that shit goes for a rack brand new, I'm selling my shit for like five to six. Facts. I'd rather pay my bills. Facts. Feed it to a hype beast. Facts. And guess what? My lights are on for Facts. months due to a shoe. I say, because me, like I said, I never had yay anything. Like I said, if the only pair I did want it was the Zebra 350s. But I wouldn't have done it just because, like, ah, uh, shit, I got yay on you my feet. You might find a pair tomorrow. You never know. When we go to flea market. <laughs> the foo-foo-ass one. No, sometimes they do have some stuff there. Like, the grandparents be selling their, like, kids stuff. Some of that shit's still foo-foo, bro. There was a table I came across. When did I go? Like, two, three weeks ago? Uh-huh. Something like that. They had some, um, fuck, what was it? Uh, there were some sixes. They had like orange and some like gray suede to it. Oh, and you, they were fit. No, this no. was like a size eleven or something. Okay. And I went up and squeezed it. That bitch folded like a motherfucker, bro. <laughs> bro, oh my god, I. The thing with me, I don't know why I love finding fakes. But it has to be like the out- outlandish ones, like ones that you know that's not real, colorway wise. You know what I'm saying? Facts, facts, facts. Because those are those are dope. Yeah, no, because it's just uh, like, it's something you. It's cool to see. Like back then on YouTube, uh-huh. early YouTube days, I'll look up fake sneakers just to just to see. Just, yeah, that's what I do. I still do that shit to this day. Mm-hmm. I would say um, when we go tomorrow, because I brought my black like uh, the that one time I went to the to the flea market. Boy was like, "Yo, what you checking for?" I was like, "You know, stitching." So he knew those things. He knows. And and it was people around. It was and there was like eavesdropping. There was like, um, but was like, well, yeah, what you looking for? I was like, I want to see where the glue stains at. I was like, because you might have some real shit, or you could have some real foo foo shit. Because you don't have the foo-foo? boxes. Yeah, they were all foo foo. Oh, okay, but they looked it good. Like so they, from a distance, uh, they look good. But when you go up and you start like filling material, uh-huh. the smells is fake. Yeah. So here's the thing: when it comes to fakes, like a lot of people don't know when you air out. The shoe, mm-hmm. the glue stain, that certain smell goes away. So it's a neutral thing. Even with old shoes, right? You keep them, like the legit shoes, right? You keep them in the box, they still have a hint of the scent. Facts, yeah, because mine's on my shit, you can still, like, exactly. smell it. You see how many dead stock shoes I got? I still got, like, I only got, like, I got, like, three, three dead stock. See, he has time to wear his, I don't. Yo, facts. Bro. I told you, I've been trying to, like, Wear Rotate, more. yeah, yeah. Appreciate that shit, bro. Talking about this, right? Shout out to Rob Kwan on TikTok. He goes also as Rob's uh, resells, uh-huh. right? He posted up a video about um, buying uh, sneaker boxes. Mm-hmm. I best I, I commented and said, "Yo, I'm willing to sell mine. What's up?" Oh, you I th- yeah. Yeah, yeah, and yeah, I, yeah. I was joking around at first, but then he was actually legit for real. Legit. About it. So I messaged him. And we were going back and forth. I was like, yo, later I'm going to send you pictures. We'll go we'll go about it with numbers or whatever. Let's see how many you got. So most of my box, I told him most of my boxes are from nine, nine and a half. But some are nine, some are ten or whatever. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? I mean, I got one size ten. But everything else is like literally nine like nine and a half. half. Yeah. So I wouldn't mind Plus giving up all these boxes, the ones I have in uh, sneaker containers. Because uh-huh. I, I know I'm going to keep them. Right. So it gives me more room to put in. <laughs> it gives me more Bro, room to put in my closet. I need to buy some sneaker containers so I can have more room in my I'm closet. Say the sneaker containers only buy if it's used on Facebook Market or on sale at Container Store. I know. They I saw, are pricey. I saw some on Amazon. And they come as a ten pack or a twelve pack for like fifty bucks. Yeah, something like that. But the quality is trash. I'm gonna tell you right now. I don't care, bro. As long as it can hold some the, shit. The the box itself it comes in. It's literally like a pizza box. Question, but like, how tight is it? Because you know, I wear a twelve. I mean, you're, oh, you're gonna need the extra large one. This extra is large. large. Okay, that's yeah. why I was looking at. Because I was like, I see some of your joints, and they're like touching, uh, like yeah. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. so like Dunk lows, of course, or Air Max is low cuts. Yeah, I have yeah, to they'll, they'll be fine. But when it comes to this, uh, you think of it like this, right? Watch this. I don't want to do that. Facts, I don't wanna, yeah, I don't want to scuff it. Yeah, facts, facts. So I put everything sideways. Now, if I want, if I wanted the ball and be stupid with my money. I would have got all extra large. Everything would be standing up. Facts. Because, as you can see, like I said, like most of the shoes are sideways. Even they're like semi-mid length height or whatever because the tongue all sideways. 
only like you know low cut shoes Cutter can be standing sides. up straight. Yeah, I gotta, yeah. Look, I gotta look into that. I told my wife, and she was like, "You sure?" She thought I was talking about the uh, sneaker containers. I was like, "No, no, no the empty boxes. Empty boxes. Hell yeah, I'm gonna sell them, bro. Bitches, bro. I, the price already, I like, I came up like up with is fair, but if I sell it as a whole, it's it's even better. Better, yeah. But of course, some shoes like like my pigeons, my diamonds, I'll keep. You know what I mean? But everything else, like like my like my expensive shoes, I'll keep the box. But overall, I, I give rats ass about the box. Uh, I'm 50 50 on it. People, she's like, but well, what happens if someone wants to buy it? I'm like, so? To buy it? I'll give them with the sneaker container box. Facts, yeah. Like, I was saying, because you uh, want the shoe for the shoe, not for the box. box. Of course, you want the box. The younger me, younger Jay, will be like, oh no, I need box. I need box. Ah. Older Jay, gray hair Jay, <laughs> EDJ. <laughs> <laughs> I feel that I feel that bro Cause like nah Younger me I'm like nah I need a box You know I got gray hairs In my beard now Damn bro That shit hits But <laughs> Bro A few days ago No actually no Today No mm-hmm. yesterday or today Right I took off At the red light I took off my um My hair tie uh-huh. To retie my hair So I had some hair fall off Because you know It's long hair It falls out easily right. Or whatever I found a great uh, like Three gray strands I was like fuck Nah bro I got like Two I don't mind three. it. I'm mad that it fell off. <laughs> you know Seth Rollins? Yeah, 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 yeah. I want that white line right here to look cool. <laughs> nah, like I said, I have like three on top of my head. I get like a few in my beard, bro. Uh, that I shit. don't know how, how a beard feels like. Uh, you want it? You want to touch it? <laughs> Pause. God, God, <laughs> oh, God damn, Hispanic Santa Claus over here with that beard. Bro, but how many Hispanics you really know with a beard? Go okay. knife, and, go knife in Washington and tell me. I feel like they all clean cut because they be working, bro. They want... Uh, yeah, that's true. I mean, some do grow it nicely. Fuck no. Your he, brother? Uh, he he's grown it, but he has more of a goatee than. So he's more like beard. a thinner line. Yeah, yeah, in the yeah, way. yeah, yeah. Any well, uh, uncles that meant like on your? My uncle's side? got the same shit as you, bro. The, like little, the little three strands. <laughs> all right. So everyone that 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 follows me on TikTok and uh. Oh yeah, I forgot because he has mask yeah, on. Yeah, mask on. I got like, let's be real, like probably 30 strands on my chin. Okay. I give him like 12, but okay. let him get 30. Times that by 12. <laughs> All right. I got a little peach fuzz on my chin. For you to really see it, I really have to put my hand underneath my chin to see, for you to see it. All right. Now, my mustache, it's crazy. I don't like it. All right. It's thin, but thick at the same time. It's enough to where you know I have a mustache, <laughs> but it's, th- it's still thin. <laughs> Like, at least it's not like you know, like a lot of people got mustaches. Yeah, you got, yeah, like, yeah. Your beard consistency, thank yeah. God, I don't have that. like a bushy mustache. Oh, fact, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I feel that. that. I feel that. You know, my wife watched you want to shave it. I'm like, I'm good. Nah, I'm letting this bitch grow. As I'm much probably gonna shave can. this because, like, like, the more I shave, of course, it's a little bit more. But you probably like five more strands every year. <laughs> <laughs> What's crazy? My pops, my man got whole full grown goatee. Oh, uh, goatee. Like from like I would say underneath his oh, jawline yeah, from yeah, here. Yeah, yeah, damn. I'm like, yo, why didn't I get that? But then, like, I get it from my mom. You have Chinese, too, dog. She doesn't have body hair on mm. her arms, legs, and nothing. So I got that genetics from my mom. Nah, fair. You know what I mean? So back to the sneaker talk. Yeah, exactly. Sneaker talk. Uh, yeah, man. Uh, I'm thinking about selling those boxes and whatnot. If uh, we agree on a number, then hopefully. Facts. you I know. feel that. Uh, so I was on Oxford Valley Mall a few days ago. I'm gonna talk about it again. I think I saw that on your yeah, TikTok. So, yeah, 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 I posted yeah, yeah. a video. Man, uh, man, name was uh, fuck. What was his name? I don't know, bro. Uh, you went because you don't damn, take me I'm nowhere. Think, you fucking whore. This guy. Fuck you. Fuck Mo, you. Bitch. I think his name was Mo or something like that. Mo. Yeah, his name was Mo. Mm-hmm. And owns exclusive kicks at Oxford Valley Mall. All mm-hmm. right. Dude, that shit was vintage as fuck. I loved it, Was bro. it? It was dope. It's like, it brings you back to, like, the, just the, the core OG days. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. A couple stuff here and there. Of course, they got a newer release there. Right, right, right. But it's just the vibes. I love it. And when you see in the back, I was just looking like, yo, stacks, hall, lines. They had, like, like five aisles in the back of nothing but shoes. Damn. I'm talking about, like, you know, it was in a mall. Each aisle was, like, in half of my block, bro. Damn! I don't even care the fact that it was none of them. Like some of them weren't my side. I just want—I was want to ask him real shit. Like, yo, can I record you? Just we talk about shoes back there. Right. I really wanted to do that, but I had my son with me. 
Let him get lost for a second. <laughs> nah, I, I'm, I'm, no, fuck that. I would not lose my son. I would cry. Okay. I wouldn't cry, but I'd probably be. I'll, my, my wife will kill me. <laughs> that's fine. But, um, bro, I was just like, dude, he talked about how for over 20 years he's been in the retail game. Just the retail. Damn. You know what I mean? And, of course, when, when he sold his stores in Brooklyn, he moved over here after his kids uh, graduated, mm-hmm. right? And he does this like as a fun part time for side money. It's because he understands the He's, game yeah, for yeah, being yeah. in the game for so long. I'm like, bro, like, why did you sell it? You could have kept those. Like, nah, like they offered me a real good number, da da da. So I sold it. Like, what's the point? My kids, they don't want to take care of the legacy that I and built. That, and that's the thing, all them bro. are doctors, bro. Oh, let's be real. Like, you in the medical field compared to that, I'll probably pick the medical field. But me, currently right now, I'll probably choose retail. Facts, yeah. Because that's something I'm passionate about. I know I will make solid income. Facts. But, you know, my wife is already in the medical field. <laughs> I could just stay home, be a, a husband, eye candy type of shit. I'm good. Facts, bro. <laughs> now, I feel that, bro. Because, like I said, it all depends on, like, the legacy, bro. Because, um, like I said, younger E, bro, if I knew the sneakers was going to be, like, I would have. I would have kept everything. I don't care if they, like I grew it. I would have like stacked it in the joint somewhere, kept it clean, sell it with over time. But like I said, younger me, bro, because we ain't pay for it. Or well, at least you know I ain't pay for it in my shit until I was like fifteen, sixteen. Say so he he paid at an early age. I paid when I was sixteen, seventeen. No, seventeen. I'm sorry, seventeen mm-hmm. to be precise. I remember because I bought my first pair of shoes my senior year. Mm-hmm. I remember that for a fact. No, I like I said. The youngest, I don't remember the age, but like I said, my youngest pair I remember buying were the University Gold uh, Nines mm-hmm. back in Models at the gallery. And I think the last pair my parents ever bought me were my Aqua 8s, bro. And I remember I took care of them Let's bitches. Let's hope we find some good shoes tomorrow. Bro. I hope so, bro. If not, I'm going to fucking cry. Well, at least we go there for some tacos. I know the best taco spot. No, it's not. No, no, no. no. In Jersey or just overall? What you mean, like in the in the market, in the yeah. free market? There's yeah. a good spot in there, bro. It's right behind the, the Korean seafood spot, right? No, that's the only one I go to. No, I'm gonna take you to the one I went to. Is it outside? It's outside. Oh, that's why. Okay, it's okay, outside. Okay. You're going to fall in love, my guy. Wait, no, I know what you're talking about. They be big ass lines, and they'll be like cooking in front of you, and you order from like the lady. Yeah. Yes, I went there twice. Fucking good. Fucking, fucking fire. I remember that. Phenomenal. But I haven't had it in a while, so I can't really remember. Oh, we're but going I, there. when I went to the one inside, uh-huh. they had uh, tongue and tripe. I was so happy. The one outside has them too, bro. See, I didn't know. I went yeah. to the one inside first. There's a few outside, but the one that I like more was that. The I know what you're one. talking yeah, about. Yeah, yeah. It's I like, like a, it's like it's under a tent. Yeah, yes. that's that's my favorite bro, one so far. I ain't gonna lie. On some, all right. So you know me, all right. My Spanish is like literally negative five. I mean, it gets you by, and, yeah. this, and y'all don't know this motherfucker calls me when he needs help. <laughs> yes, so so with the uh, Mexicans around here that I buy food from, right? They're Mexicans. I'm not trying to be racist or anything. Racist. Just no, I'm not. Fuck out of here. I'm fucking Oriental. I fuck out of here. <laughs> so some, sometimes they keep, don't speak good English, right? Mm-hmm. And they'll say things I don't understand. Mm-hmm. I will literally call Nesto. Like eight, and every single time so far he's picked up, which is crazy. Thank God, <laughs> because if not, I have to go to Google Translator like a fucking gringo. <laughs> <laughs> but here's the thing, like they 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 talk to each other and like see or they answer each other and shit. I'm like, hey, yo, tell me. I'm like, all right, yeah, let me get that. <laughs> <laughs> I'll, it's Bye. it's funny because like <laughs> I don't know, like he's the first person I call. Cause like. I don't know why you're the first place I call, bro. I don't know, bro. <laughs> like it just comes like to my like, cause mo- cause it's Mexican food and you're Mexican, so it helps. It's like racist. It's like me, like you calling your Chinese friend asking about Vietnamese food. You think they gonna know? Real shit. Nah, probably not. They just gonna know that oh, it's fucking made with rice. Every fucking <laughs> yellow motherfucker owns rice, bro. Rice is rice. Rice is rice, <laughs> but the fucking. The the come uh, dumb on that shit, not the same dog. Speaking of Ray, shout out to my boy Miles. He's out in PR right now. 
And I texted him. I was like, yo, did you eat some Puerto Rican food yet? He uh-huh. was like, bro, that rice is phenomenal. It's like, seasoned I rice. told y'all, bro. Hispanic rice and Middle Eastern rice, right? It's always seasoned. Fucking uh, Asian bro. rice, as in like Chinese rice, <clears throat> a, uh, Vietnamese rice, it's not seasoned. I might, I might have to make a trip to Porky's Point. Have you ever been up there? Porky's Point? It is in the north. I forgot I forgot the street, but it's on the corner. Like a little the divide. What's that spot? I always I know there's a spot in uh, around Air Mingo. They have really good mafungo. Air Mingo, Air Mingo. Okay, I know which one you're talking about. I don't I know the, the name, name of it. Yeah, you know, yeah, it's, yeah, it's yeah, on yeah. the corner as well, too. Because I've always, like I said, I need to go to Porky's Point. I always go to Freddy's and Tony's Freddy's, right there. Freddy's and Tony's. That's what it's called. It's not Air Mingo. He's on... Uh, it's two locations. One on Second and Allegheny. Okay, it's Allegheny. And, and, my fault. Oh, it's Allegheny. Yeah, and I'm then sorry. there's another. The other location is right there on Front in Indiana. Yeah, because uh, the one on Allegheny, that's the one uh, me and my coworkers when I used to work mm-hmm, there, yeah, in the yeah. warehouse. I would get my fungo with them. Yeah, and I haven't had my fungo in like forever, bro. I like I like the one more on Front in Indiana. I'm gonna say this right. If I had to give up Asian food or Vietnamese food. I'm going straight to fucking Spanish food. Oh, facts. We the way. Because it's so similar. Because uh, nah, I can still eat rice. <laughs> facts. <laughs> I can still eat noodles. I can eat soup. Bro, I can eat fucking menudo. Uh, I love menudo. I love menudo. Bro. But, but uh, um, yeah, back back to the the retail guy. Uh, yeah. So I've been seeing a lot of uh, controversy with this because there's this br- uh, brand I see a lot on IG, right? And I subscribe to them just to see... Just to have more info on them and shit, right? Right. They do customs. And mm. what they do is it's a mixture of Bape, Jordans, and Nikes put together. Huh. And so they have this one that's releasing out on the 29th, which is tomorrow, right? Right. It's the Freddy Krueger colorway on a Jordan 1 Low structure huh. with a semi-star. And they give me the vibes of mischief. Okay. Here's the thing. They customize or make shoes similar to these colorways that are the hypest of Mm -hmm. hypes. You know what I mean? The star, it's similar to the fucking bait. Mm -hmm. Or if not, it's the same as the bait. Mm. But they put it on a Jordan 1 low. Mm. So it's like, I don't know how they do it. Quality, I've seen reviews. It is trash. Mm -hmm. I've heard. And it makes me question, like, for example, Air Kai's. Mm-hmm. I do want a pair. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? I want. There's a couple pairs I do want. Right. People tell me the quality is okay, but no one has told me the quality is great or good. Because I don't know the retail, mm-hmm. but people be sell, we try to resell them for like two to five. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Two or near the, in the low point because they're used. Use facts. But it's DS and shit. It's like around four to five. Yeah, I mean, I was very heavy on quality, bro, especially because, you know, how our feed is structured. Um, I saw a little bit of what you're talking about, but my thing is, bro, it's um, how do you even get in the way with that shit, bro? So, 10% difference. As long as there's a 10% difference, it doesn't matter. Bro, but... That's how a lot of these uh, these um, stores, like, not stores, but companies, get away with when it comes to, inf- quote-unquote... Like infringement with Nike is cease and desist shit, like because uh, you know Nike don't play that. They shit don't play that shit whatsoever. They bro. don't like uh, was it Geiger? Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? He won, but at what cost? Oh, it cost him a lot though. He basically won, even though they settled out. And he changed a little bit. He still won because guess what? You don't lose anything. You spend a lot of money, but you still keep. <laughs> Get to keep your fucking company, my guy. Yeah, you get to keep your company, and that's bro. good. But here's the thing: but right? you're fighting with millions for lawyers and all that, bro. bro just to fight. He Nike. spent over a million. He said. That's what I'm saying. You're fighting millions, bro. A guy like him, maybe or may not can afford it. I'm not counting his pockets. Fact. Think of it like this: someone, a regular Joe like you and me, trying to make it. We build the LLC, all this shit. You know what I mean? Like, I haven't printed out anything yet. Like you, like. You, you know, I was talking about big talks about it. Fact, you fact, you fact, yeah, yeah, yeah. But I can't. I need to find LC with a brand name because there's a dance group in Philly that mm. uses Fresh. Mm. But here's the thing: I've been using it before I even knew about them. Dumb facts. But power to them. But I'm gonna have to switch it around and try to find Fresh something if I want to build a brand. Fact it has to be Fresh because that's I grew up using that because of, of the Facebook forum that I used to run. 
Facts. You know what I mean? Like, I, like what what am I do? Like, I don't know what's to use. Fresh tacos. <laughs> Yo, that'll be a nice taco truck. Facts. Yo, let's go get a loan out, bro. <laughs> yeah, I don't know how to cook tacos, but I know how to sell it. Bro. You know how, like, those Asian dudes in the super, in the uh, food court? Yeah. I'm going to be like that for you. <laughs> I have, like, energy. sample, sample. <laughs> sample, sample. That's the only thing I can say. <laughs> Jesus. I did not say it. <laughs> but, yeah, like, it's crazy. See, here's the thing, right? A lot of people say this is a custom shoe. I buy material. I build it like a Jordan 1, Jordan 2, Jordan 3, whatever. Right. It's a custom. No. It's a fucking fake, my guy. Yeah, that's a fake because you're, you're knocking off that design that's already... Already made. It's already made. It's already in existence. But here's the thing. If, if the quality may be better because you're using better quality. I give you power for that. Facts. But... You cannot say it's a custom. Me taking a Bacon 90, mixing it up with a goddamn, let's say, a fucking stuff, Atmos Air Max 1, taking out the material, using the same material that I bought from Nike. Right, yeah, that's that's a custom. And they're like, oh, Bespoke. Bespoke was under fucking Nike, my guy. Facts. Like, come on. People don't know that, though, bro. Yeah, but that's the thing, like, and they were expensive, bro. I remember. 900 a pair. I know, bro. And they were using good quality. I'm like bro, that's too. That's too much. You know what I mean? That's too right. much. But customs are customs. Fakes are fakes. fakes yeah, because customs to me is like how you were saying you'll take a sneaker, like the Nike ID. Like you'll choose your colors. You choose and it's made under Nike. Under Nike, that's or Jordan a custom. or whatever. Yeah, whatever like. is a custom. A fake is something that you're ripping off that's already made. And they talk about that shoe surgeon, right? He's he, he's he's nice with the He's nice with it, but here's the thing. He takes the mix. these constructed the shoot and puts material on top of it. That is a custom. Yeah, cuz I would say I saw uh what was it? Complex with the game and he he did some uh what was the Madita joints, the Pharrell uh Adidas? I don't remember. The NMDs? Something like that. Uh-huh. Uh he gave uh Bola a Kobe jersey oh, and, and oh, yeah, 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 he put it yeah, in. Yeah, I was like that, that shit is nice and then he also did some Chicago ones of off white but he did it like all red like snake skin yeah. type, and that shit well, was if yeah. I had a shoe I could somehow get one of my ones into uh, Python I would Facts. or even just any of my retros Facts. I would you know what I mean hell even one of my Air Maxes I definitely would do an Air Max you know what I mean Facts. customs are customs fakes are fakes, fakes. please yeah. do not get it twisted guys um, Howard University, <laughs> the marching band. Yeah, nothing but Jordan Loves. I saw I'm really Cherry bring- Cherry Loves. Okay, I'm just bringing it up because of what happened. In happened, Memphis. yeah. Here's the thing: I completely forgot. Okay, Howard University is under Jordan Brand. Exactly. So it makes sense. Yeah. But I'm like, yo, I ain't gonna lie. It looked nice. It looked nice shit. because of the outfit of the marching band. So me personally, I'm, it's starting to grow on me in a way where I'm starting that's to like them. That's what I'm saying. But it's not. I don't. But the thing is, I don't want them. But I like them. And that's where I'm at with me, bro. Because I've been I've been talking to you about it. For oh, you like a red? Minute. I like. Yeah, but I don't like just because what's it? Red pen and leather on yes, it. Yes, everything else is just funny. everything is just white, bro. And I don't like. I said a part of me like I like them, mm-hmm. but another part is like I don't like them enough to. So for grab this, for example, someone warn them, right? They're they're used. Semi use a buck fifty. I give them a buck. <laughs> I'll buy it. Buck fifty. A I say they worn twice. A buck. Still a buck. You're getting a fucking buck. Worn twice. You're Lightly. getting a fucking buck. Worn only you're twice. You're getting a buck. bitch. You're supposed to be supporting me. I'm asking. Yeah, There's always I'll a price you, for everything. I give you. A, I'll give you a buck. <laughs> I'll give you a buck. I give you seventy five. Uh, see, like he even went lower. I get. I said a buck. See, that's like I'm a low baller, man. Facts, I'm but a, not like I said. Yeah, because I was a like, certain colleges are under Jordan Brand, yeah. so I could see that. In um, speaking of the shit, uh, the lost and found ones. Uh-huh. You see how they get in back door like a motherfucker, oh, bro. Man, look, it was bound to happen. Uh, of course, it's going to happen. But the Wait, thing was, they were so. Was it video? Or was it picture? I forgot. Picture. They were like in. Like yeah. shopping carts type of style, yeah. IKEA just piled yeah. up high, and I'm like, "Yo, I thought y'all were gonna say we're gonna try to get these out to like the people without uh, backdooring it." Now look at this shit, bro. But this is stores we're talking about. You, Nike can't control that. 
<sighs> you got love. It's a love and hate relationship when it comes to reselling market, bro. Fact. You have to remember one thing. People, a lot of people hate me on eBay. Oh yeah, I saw I the messages that you be getting, <laughs> bro. Because and they, what's the worst thing? Like I said, they say no or they comment what they want to say. And yeah, guess what? I'm not gonna argue with you. Facts. It's your shoe. If you say no, you say, say no. no. Facts. But the lost and found. The thing is, like, I'm doing my best to go get every single raffle I can. I just want. Are they doing pairs. raffles for that? I don't know. That's the thing. That's or at the... least a sneaker raffle, whatever you want to call it. To All see I know is I'm gonna see if I can get lucky on sneakers. Out. On the because uh, you saw I had got the the other los muertos dunks. Yes. But I had to cancel up the order. This motherfucker didn't want it because he wanted to save his his loving grace of sneakers app luck. All right, here's the thing: it's like Foot Locker. Okay, I'm starting to think it's more like Foot Locker. Uh-huh. The more you buy, the more chances as well. Bro, but this is my. It's stupid. It's my f- second W since I got. It. Remember, I canceled the twos. Yeah, 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 yeah. So that was only my second W. How many W's did I get this year? I got W's outside of sneakers because my low balling ass. I'm going to say I got like four W's out of sneakers this year. Really? Yeah, at least four. Not bad. bad. Uh, It's not like what it was (laughs) that one time. That run you had. That run I had was unstoppable, bro. I was the goat of sneakers at that fucking year. This man was not losing. He was LeBron of sneakers. I'm not even going to say MJ. MJ. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Breon, if you're hearing this right now, Breon, I I know it's your birthday. Okay. Oh, this week, this, this week is his birthday. His birthday was a few days ago, and oh, I did. Birthday. I found out through Snapchat at work. Whore. <laughs> and I was like, I saw him. I said, "Happy birthday!" Whatever. Right, right? Right, right. He is an MJ fan, just like you, my so, man. So when y'all when you all finally meet, I guarantee y'all it's like two v one. And guess what? LeBron can take it because oh, y'all need two people to ass. stop. Okay, now his yeah, you're on four. <laughs> Fucking LeBron, I'm crying right now inside. <laughs> Trade Westbrook or even give up Davis. Them, yo, Davis is Brian, so fragile. you just fragile. need to stop fucking hopping on shit and mm, I'm going to just leave it at that. <laughs> Let me say this, right? Shave your head, bro. All the goats did it. Bro, just retired. Yeah, hey, don't, MJ don't, don't. did it. No. MJ Kobe, did it. Kobe's better than MJ. MJ did it. Kobe and MJ are and Guess what? And I, I, I'm going to say this too. MJ... Looks like an uncle from 03 at a cookout with his baggy ass clothes, right? And he's nothing more than a fucking crying meme, all right? Ah, Fuck six him. and no. Oh. That's all you have. Six and no. That's all you have. Six and no. Oh. That's all you have. And you got his fucking sneakers, bitch. I do. He's only good for, <laughs> and I said he's only good for sneakers, but he a bald headed bitch. Ah, oh, Lord. My man should have been on Rogue. <laughs> stop his uh, Jordan fucking, what you may call it? Tell Nike to stop making LeBrons. <laughs> Hey yo, cause he got that pull. You know he got that pull. You think you think that will ever happen though? If they really beefing that hard, nah, maybe. If you think MJ will go that petty? Hell yeah. Cause remember there was a story I found. You saw you saw the documentary. I sure. took it personal. <laughs> Damn, if you hear that, he gonna fucking hate Vietnamese people. Facts. It's like no, nah, he gonna just probably just hate me. But um, yeah, the lost and found. Like I do want a pair for myself, but if I get it for retail, I get it for retail. Yeah, I'm not gonna pay I'm nothing at. more than retail. Cause uh, yeah, I'm, like I said, I probably will have a few people with me running on sneakers app. I know my little brother wants a pair, but he's already calling the plug for that. So is there? Did they, they give you a price yet? On not it? yet. Yeah. But we got. We listen. Yeah. We pre ordered. <laughs> well, not me, but your brother did. My brother did. I'm gonna say this right. Just be off topic a little bit. When it comes to these rep peoples, these mm-hmm. rep wares or whatever you wanna call them. And then there'll be like people like in our community that only wear authentics. Facts. They say y'all broke. Okay? They say they are broke because they can't afford the real thing. But let me ask you this. I saw a video, it got my attention, right? We can afford it coming from Nike. Right? Yeah, you yeah, yeah, yeah. But we can't afford when it comes to a reseller. Facts. That's true. That's very true. I can admit that. Yeah. Because if well, I bought a resale, resale or market price consecutively, I have to sell my cars. That's like, what I'm saying, but like just, our mindset is different, bro. Because like, like yes, we can afford it retail price. Uh-huh. Of course, I mean I'm pretty sure a good majority of people can afford it retail price. But 
like how you were saying, yeah, I'm not going to pay fucking resale or market price because we're not fucking stupid, bro. Yeah. Why would we pay six hundred? For sure, we know it goes for one fifty exactly. and two twenty five. Exactly. And like we'll unless get it's super the, rare. Uh, facts. For me, at least for me. And like if we get a use, like yeah, we'll throw an an offer out, but we're not going to pay yeah. five six hundred fucking dollars for it, bro. And like the reps, from what I seen, was certain people had the mindset of like. Why would I pay that resale market price? Which I, I could get the faker yeah. joint that looks kind of the same. That's like they cheaper. always try to, they always try to find the best fakes. Facts, and I noticed that. And it's like, so you can't say you're not trying to get the real thing, and then it's like it's like it's it's very political. Very political. Because I'm not trying. To, I'm not here to diminish anyone's. Um, pockets or whatever you know what i mean because right. me personally if i enjoy a brand i'm gonna do my best to get the real brand fact without hurting myself financially fact because at the end of the day yeah i do i'm a self-proclaimed sneakerhead you know what i mean i do enjoy the sneaker community i do enjoy the sneaker culture facts but I will pay my fucking bills first facts that's <laughs> what i'm saying our mindset is different bro we're ready to take care of our priorities and then if we have the money to, like, buy sneakers, so we'll do it. But I'm not going to go and fucking cop, resell, market price, and throw it on my credit. I don't know, bro. Let me ask you this. Like, I see, even, like, I've always said this. Like, if I feel like if I've always had bread, I probably won't even spend it on something stupid like that. Let me ask you this, then, right? For, let's say, one grand, right? You get the rare shoe that you can choose from. It could be even, like, ten grand right now. Right, currently. But someone sells you to it for one grand. Would you do it? <sighs> Gotta check my credit card balances. <laughs> See, me personally, I would. My dumb ass would. And I'm probably going to flip it. Facts. Or if it's something that's really rare that you, like, it's really See? hard to sell. But, and you see, see, I get it where you're, like, looking at it like you would flip it. Motherfuckers like me, I want to keep, keep it. But here's the thing, because you know why? That one pair can fund me for multiple exactly, and I, in. and I see where you're coming from. But like I said, motherfuckers like me, I, I want to keep it. I, I want to keep wear my it. shoes too. But it's like, yo, why not knock out my card note? <laughs> oh, I don't pay a card note. Oh yeah, this man balling though. He doesn't <laughs> have to. He, his card paid off. But see what I'm saying though, like me, like. Like, I understand where you're coming from. Like, yo, I could pay this off and get some more shit in. But me, motherfuckers like me, because, like, yo, I got the sneaker that I always fucking wanted. I'm going to wear it. True. And cherish shit. Let me ask you, know you this, mean? then. So, I had a pair. I showed you the pair of undefeated uh, uh, questions. Remember? Because, yeah, yeah, yeah. And. Yeah, 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 yeah. Blew up and everything. The side bubble was fucked up and all. Uh-huh. The hex the hex bubble side is cracked. It's cracked, yeah. Dude one is 75. I offered him twenty five. Yeah, I remember. And he, he still said no because he he bought it for thirty. Uh, I said thirty. Three hundred. I'm like, bro. I I'm, like, I'm not paying that shit, bro. It's, but you see what I'm saying? Because like, I'm gonna get a clay a case a case a glass case, clean them up, and put them in there. Yeah, yeah, it. yeah. Because it's an 06 shoe. I can't fit, I can't wear that shit. Yeah, you can't. I mean, that depend on what like on hand condition was. True, maybe. But like, like I'm saying though, like how, like I said, if I get a rare fucking shoe for a rack, I probably will buy it. But I won't. In my head, I won't be like, let me resell it. Yeah. I would be like, no, I got the fucking shoe. I'm gonna like bring it to you and be like, look, bitch, I got this bitch True. on my feet. Tomorrow, talking about that, I'm probably gonna wear my my pink toes tomorrow. Fuck you. <laughs> I bought. Oh, uh, that's my pickup that I bought uh, last oh, week. Yeah. I bought so, the tell, blue tell. um blue cap. Blue cat, blue fucking toe, blue, blue toe, toe, whatever yeah. you want to call it, bro. A fucking struggle. <laughs> so, to put on? Huh? To put on? No. To find? S- not kind of, but let me let me give you the details. So, me and my boy Randall, shout out to Randall, we went to Cherry Hill. Okay. Uh, we sold uh, some sneakers at, I ain't going to say the name. We sold some sneakers. and uh, You or he? Both. What'd we you took sell? our, my second pair of Fire Red 3s. Retail? Yeah, I broke even. So you yeah. Just yeah. Okay. Um, and uh, took that money. I was like, okay, I got an extra two, three hundred dollars I could play with, and let me go shop around. Technically, not extra because you just get your money. Yeah, back. technically <laughs> not extra, but in my pocket it was extra. So, um, somebody had them on sale. I can't remember if it was Champs 
or front sale locker. as in like discount sale or sale as in just like overall sale like no this is a discount sale so it was originally 160 150 160 yeah. 160 they had it for like 120 130 okay i can't remember what store i would have gotten there for 120 they didn't have my fucking size Oh, that's a lie they had 11 and a half and I was like let me try it just to like see what it no, is no we did not my foot was like nah bro <laughs> okay. we're not doing this okay I was like fuck alright and me and Randall was like yeah bro I think we saw him at Foot Locker let's go to Foot Locker we go to Foot Locker bro fucking nine I was like fucking Jimmy I'm a nine and a half <laughs> fuck you still <laughs> And then okay, <laughs> all right. Get mad at me because they don't got your size. It's not like it's my store or anything, motherfucker. <laughs> and then who do I who? What store did I go to? Uh, the Snipes. We found him at. Uh, no, I I didn't see him on the shelves at Snipes until Randall pointed out. I was going for another sneaker, but of course they ain't had my fucking size. So Randall was like, "Yo, bro, here they go." Ass for a 12. Guys, right, sup, fresh family. Um, we had technical difficulties for the last 10 minutes of the podcast. Uh, that was my fault. Uh, I don't know how I did it, but I know how to prevent it for future podcast recordings. So that being said, I apologize. You know, uh, I think we left off at um, Nesto talking about the questions he got at Cherry Hill Mall as well. After that, we talked about uh, Nike SB Concepts, the White Lobsters. And to find out that was just a friends and family release or going to be a friends and family release. It, 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 to me, that's just crazy because... The Orange Lobsters aren't even released yet, one. And two, there's no official release date yet, you know, at least far as I know. That being said, it's just like, why would you guys even, you know, but I guess they're trying to do that for the hype, you know. There's so, like, there's all, so many colors out there. There's the blue, red, yellow, green, uh, now it's uh, purple as well, and orange, and now supposedly white, you know. Multiple pairs, multiple pairs. Uh, to be honest, me personally, I really do want the orange one that's coming out only so I can have something from the lobster family. You know what I mean? From uh, I was never able, well, I was able to back then, but I didn't want to pay those prices, to be honest with you. Uh, so, yeah, that's basically it to keep it short and simple for you guys. Uh, sorry for the inconvenience of this, whatever it may have done, I guess you can say. Uh, yeah, man. Hope you guys have a blessed weekend. Please uh, like and share this podcast. You know what I mean? My IG is I am fresh 215 uh, TikTok and YouTube is Fresh Philly215. You know, uh, dropping literally probably within minutes of me recording this right now. You know? Uh, so yeah, have a blessed day, have a nice day, have a safe day, and that's basically it. Deuces!